please do not accept everything from everybody. Let me tell you why. I'm speaking with an older lady today. Um, and the lady, the way she's speaking, I can tell that she has a love for Christ. She has a love for God. Um, she told me, she, she said, I try to walk right. I try to do everything holy. I really try to, to live and not just um, speak, but according to the word. So I look at her on her wrist and there was a bracelet. There was an evil eye bracelet. It didn't match with what she was saying. So I'm like, okay. So I asked her, um, I felt the Holy Spirit say, ask. So I asked her, I said, do you attend church? And she told me the church that she attends. Um, I said, where did you get the bracelet from? She said, oh, my co-worker gave it to me. It's a lady that comes to the school. I don't really know her that well. We see each other in passing. That's about it. Um, she walked up to me one day and she asked, hey, can I give you something? And she said, yes. She said, so she gave me the bracelet and she told me that the bracelet was used for weight loss. <laughs> Red flag number one. So then as she continues to speak, I said, you know what? I said, that bracelet is witchcraft. It's witchcraft. I said, that's an evil eye bracelet. That is not, it is not for weight loss. I said, it's actually um, demonic. She's set up. This woman was shocked. She said, I don't do it. I said, I know you don't. And I heard the Holy Spirit say to this woman, I heard the Holy Spirit say, the woman that gave her that is a witch. And so I told her that. I said, the woman that gave you this bracelet is a witch. She has no good intentions for you. She said, no, ma'am. She said, I, she said, I started prayer back in school. She said, I pray with this, with the kids every morning at 730. And I heard the Holy Spirit say that the enemy has an assignment against her because of that. I said, the enemy is mad. Because you are bringing prayer back to school. You are praying with these kids. So Satan is mad. He used that woman, who was definitely a witch, as a tool to so that you can invite demonic influence into your life. I said, you need to take that off, burn it, repent, renounce, and you need to do a whole spiritual sweep of your house. Even if you have to get your pastor to come and do a spiritual sweep in your home. I said, you gave the enemy legal authority, legal access to you through that bracelet. I said, it is not for weight loss. And then she proceeded to tell me some other things about how, you know, people are really mad because at her school, because she brought prayer back to school or that she prays with the kids. So unknowingly, she gave the enemy access to her by accepting this piece of jewelry from this lady that had no good intentions. So for that reason, do not accept everything that someone gives you. Do not accept food from everybody. Do not accept jewelry from everybody. Research, research, research. And I'm going to be praying for this lady because she's on my heart now. I'm definitely going to be praying and interceding for her. Um, she goes to a good church. She goes to a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church here locally. So um, I'm just, I just pray that she takes heed to what I told her. She told me she would. She said she would go home and she's going to burn the bracelet and everything. I said you need to do a whole spiritual sweep and anoint every door, every window, every headboard, every pillow that people that somebody in your home sleeps, sleeps on. And you need to anoint it um, with less oil. So, um, yeah, that's what I want to come tell y'all this afternoon. Don't accept everything from everybody. Do not. Everybody does not have good intentions for your life. And a lot of the people are on assignment from the pit of hell because they are mad. The enemy is mad. Okay? Yeah.